Dr. Chowdhury, MD, if you are true hashtag he for she, then you must speak up against this disturbing study. Three men created fake social media accounts to purposefully spy on applicants. Worse, they are shaming our women physician colleagues for wearing bikinis, hashtag med Twitter, hashtag med bikini, hashtag retraction. This is a study we got to talk about on this week's Wednesday Checkup. There was a study published late last year that wanted to take a look at the unprofessional behavior or the potential unprofessional behavior on social media by young vascular doctors. So what they did was they compiled a list of recently trained vascular surgeons, specifically young ones. They scoured their social media profiles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Interestingly, they had three male individuals do this scouring, which kind of creates a bias, but we'll discuss that in a bit. And what they found was about 25% of these young doctors that they looked at had quote unquote, potentially unprofessional behavior or clearly unprofessional behavior. And the reason I point out these two definitions is because it's gonna make a big, big difference as to the utility, honesty, integrity, everything about this study. Let's define those terms. The study defines clearly unprofessional content as health insurance portability accountability act violations. That's HIPAA violations, patient privacy violations, intoxicated appearance, unlawful behavior, possession of drugs or drug paraphernalia, and uncensored profanity or offensive comments about colleagues, work, or patients. I think you and I will both agree that's clearly unprofessional behavior. You shouldn't talk bad about your patients or colleagues. You shouldn't be doing illegal acts or drugs or anything like that. And your patient's privacy is of utmost importance. It does not belong anywhere on social media. All of these make sense, but they had to include this list of potentially unprofessional pieces of content. And the way that they define potentially unprofessional content is as follows. Holding or consuming alcohol, inappropriate attire, censored profanity, controversial political or religious comments, and controversial social topics. This definition is what completely delegitimizes this study. Had they only include the clearly unprofessional content, great, people would have benefited from this study. They would have applauded it. But instead, they've included this subjective, heavily, heavily biased portion of potentially unprofessional content and destroyed this article. I mean, it's full of subjective, cognitive, even gender bias. Some may even go as far as calling it sexist, and I really do support them on that. Doctors are humans too. The more patients see us as humans too, the more likely they are to trust us. The better we can communicate, the more likely we're to have better health outcomes for them. This elitist, super professional version of doctors needs to disappear. And studies like this that perpetuate this elitist notion really do us a major disservice. In fact, there were so many of my colleagues that were upset by this study that there was a trending Twitter hashtag called Med Bikini, with many of my colleagues posing in their beachwear, which is a totally appropriate thing to do. Doctors are humans. Humans like having fun, they like going to the beach. Humans that are of age, that are off duty, can have a glass of wine and take a picture with it and shouldn't be afraid to do so. In fact, I'm partially part of the problem. I remember when I was going out, I'm not going out as often anymore, but if I was to take a picture with someone and I'm holding a glass of wine, I would try and do my best to hide it because I was worried people would judge me. We need to become more relatable. Really lean into showing our lives on social media. And you don't have to do it, but if you want to, there should be no program directors or scientific researchers stopping you from doing that. And then, to say doctors shouldn't be commenting on controversial social topics? You want to exclude doctors, healthcare professionals, on the topics of gun control and abortion? These are some of the topics where a healthcare voice is of utmost importance. As I look through Twitter in the midst of conversations on controversial social topics, I wish there were more healthcare voices there. I wish there was more healthcare literacy and accuracy in these conversations. Just in the last year of this channel, we've talked about racial, 
gender bias, reopening of schools, political misinformation, fat phobia, and even the recent Black Lives Matter protests. As a physician, social media communicator, influencer, I take my role here seriously. I do my research. I want to put out accurate info surrounding these controversial topics so that individuals like yourself can make the best decisions for yourself and your family members. To say that I'm acting unprofessional by doing this, I don't even know where that's coming from. This is one of the most shared stories of hashtag med bikini. The username of this doctor on Instagram is Dr. Candy Surf Vival. Surf Vival. It's witty. Her real name here is listed as Dr. Candice Meyer. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. She shares an anecdote, a really powerful anecdote, along with some pictures. Let's read along together. Dr. Bikini will save your life in the middle of the ocean when you get hit by a boat. I will take you out of the ocean on a surfboard turned into a backboard. Tie off your exsanguinating wound, bleeding out, with my rash guard. Take you to my under-equipped urgent care. Stabilize you in one hour with an IV oxygen morphine fluids Foley and put your open femur fracture in Buck's traction, fly you by helicopter to a local hospital, order and interpret all the labs, x-ray, CT scans, suture slash staple all of your wounds, splint your clavicle slash humerus and scapula fractures, sedate you, put a chest tube in your five rib fractured hemoneumothorax, that's blood and air in your uh, chest, and fly you by jet to a specialty hospital in another country, all in my, you guessed it, bikini. I am an emergency medicine physician standing in solidarity with my female vascular surgeons today. News flash, female doctors can wear whatever they want. And I agree. I want the authors of that study to look at this photo of a doctor saving a life in a bikini and to say that this is unprofessional, Come on, we have to be realistic. We have to learn from these opportunities and understand that sometimes our cognitive biases really blind us to the truth. I'm really encouraged and proud even of Dr. Meyer for leading by example, using this anecdote to teach us about the fact that we should look further than what a person is wearing or what they're drinking to determine whether or not they're professional. In fact, that term unprofessional has been thrown around in my life so often. I mean, when I started my social media in medical school, people told me that I should delete it because it was unprofessional for doctors to take selfies. It was unprofessional for me to take pictures in the gym or with my family or at the beach. I didn't want to argue with those people. I didn't think that argument would go very far. I thought that if I believed in my message to become more relatable as a family medicine physician to my patients, that I would create a healthier conversation, a more inclusive conversation. And now, having the YouTube channel nearly at 6 million subscribers, which by the way, I owe you a huge thank you for. Patients who have never seen me before, who haven't seen a doctor before, were scared to, are now coming in and getting cancer checks. They're getting their vaccines because they've learned the risk versus benefit conversation. Patients now know the difference between good research and bad research from watching my channel. And in my office, I see this happening day in and day out. And just to give you a final update on this story, the study was officially retracted. It was pulled. It is no longer a valid study in this journal. And the editor's statement, here's a little highlight, reads as such. Although the editors of the JBS believe that the authors of this paper were attempting to advise young vascular surgeons about the risks of social media, the review process failed to identify the errors in the design of the study with regards to conscious and unconscious bias, and thus the published paper was interpreted as broadening inequities in surgery. The editors therefore decided there was sufficient rationale to retract the article, and I completely agree. I think if you're part of a legitimate medical society and you want to talk about social media from a research standpoint, please go ahead and talk to some experienced social media physicians. There's so many of them. In fact, I had a hundred of them on my channel talking about what it's like to be doctors, both in person and online. So check out this video here or check out my conversation here with Dr. Fauci on COVID-19.